It's a 70s Monday, right here on Reach Around Radio. It's your boy, Speedy. All the ladies in the house say, love, Speedy. Oh, God. I oh, will Nicole, not. It is. <laughs> it's your girl, Claudia Jordan. Yes, it is. TDP, Miss 123, Knox. Baby. And, of course, the white boy is back. Not John B., but <laughs> RT. It's <laughs> <Okay. laughs> so hot in here. Uh, and where? And uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> know what that means? Uh. Hot topics. Uh, uh, hot topics. <laughs> and a little bit of. Uh, and a little bit of. Uh, uh. Did Nelly fall completely off? Pretty much. Nah. No. Yep, Nelly went diamond. How could you fall off if you go diamond? Yeah, was there was reports that there was a lot of reports. He fell off. Gambling, money. Uh, no, he still got money. He's a nice guy. Didn't Vanilla Ice so? go diamond? Cool people. You sure yeah. did. <laughs> mm. um, hot topics. All right. Hot topics. I thought of Speedy when I saw this story. So let me, hold on. For even, I don't even know what it is, but either a fat story, <laughs> eating story, or a fat nigga eating the story. It's gout or gay. One of the two. <laughs> what? Gout or gay. <laughs> one of the two. <clears throat> well, a man <laughs> from uh, Madison, Wisconsin, Claimed to be the new manager of a Denny's restaurant, um, and then he cooked himself a cheeseburger <laughs> and fries. <laughs> See, this is how you do it. <laughs> he's, he's facing charges. Police say 52-year-old James Summers, wearing a tie and carrying a briefcase, claimed he was sent by Denny's corporate office to be the new manager at the restaurant in Madison. Guess what race? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> the current manager told him he must have the wrong restaurant, so they called the corporate office. Okay. So while they're on the phone with the corporate office, He's Mr. Crying. Summers goes into the kitchen. <laughs> hey, where's the chicken at, nigga? Hurry! Who wants a Denver omelet? <laughs> 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 so he went into the kitchen and actually cooked him a meal. Wow. And the police came. What's the charge? Uh, the Cooking char- on your own? <laughs> Impersonating a chef? <laughs> <laughs> he was charged with... Put down the spatula! <laughs> <laughs> he was charged with disorderly conduct, huh? drug possession, oh, yeah. and possessing an electric weapon. He had a, a, a stun gun. <laughs> And making delicious pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, keep y'all pickles, Carol. <laughs> I'm going to jail on a full stomach. <laughs> I used to have a friend that uh, worked at Fat Burger, and he mm. would let all his homies late at night go in there <laughs> and yeah, make all burger. kind of burgers. At wow. four in the morning when I used to eat meat. Uh, <laughs> when, when was that? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, <yesterday>. right. <laughs> Man, but how are you go? What is the char- okay? Yeah, dope. Yeah, what is okay. the what is the charge? I mean, disorderly really? conduct. Disorderly conduct. Huh? And then they found drugs and a stun gun on them. Oh, but yeah, now we work in a cooking service. You have to have a, a hepatitis shot? test and shot and all that stuff. Yeah. Have now. Have you guys ever used a stun gun before? I used no. to have one when I used to live in Cleveland, mm-hmm. and um, I Cleveland? dropped it. I went to college out there. I dropped it one time in the between the door and my seat, and I grabbed it by the wrong end. And I shot my arm. <laughs> <laughs> you are a model. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! Right I can't feel the left side of my body. <laughs> yeah. It was interesting. That had to be the funniest shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. It was Did interesting. you go? Ah! Uh, that's it. Do it again. Do it again. What ah! <laughs> it's done. I was stunting like my dad. I mean, I always see like stuff like um, I always see white boys playing around with stun guns. Go ahead, shock me. Let me see if I can yeah, take yeah. it. Yeah. RT. Yeah, we, we we love this stupid shit. Can you imagine, Claudia? Let me get. That. It works. It works. Yeah, it works. Yeah. All right. Well, don't working. need new batteries in that one. <laughs> All right, we have a caller. Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, hello. Me, uh, Chris from Connecticut. Oh. Hey, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> What's up, Chris? Good to meet you finally. Hey, it was nice meeting you too. I thought you was gonna be Hollywood and shit, but you know you was real down to earth. You thought I was gonna be Hollywood? Yeah, and you, nigga. And you, and you listen to this yeah. show? <laughs> you tell all my business? A Gucci bag to downtown. I'm homeless. trying to inspire you know, the homeless. homeless. So what's real up, real Chris? Good. Just hanging, chilling. Just came from uh, practice with my son right now and uh, listening to you guys. You know. 
Uh, is is he cute, Claudia? Because he's like overly sexy. On I posted phone. the video. You didn't see it? No, I didn't. Down no, she, she, she. I mean, walked up in there. It was like two hundred people up in there, and like I could like just see her. She was the only one to like bright orange dress on, like you know, oh. like, she oh. had a day over dress, you know. Sexy. Well, <laughs> I was making an appearance, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did want to see? I mean, yeah. shit. Yeah. She was overdressed. She was cute, though, you know. But other than that, you know, I can't wait for y'all to take. The show on the road, but if y'all do, don't make Speedy drive because I hear he drives like Princess Diana. Oh! oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't take a picture of me! Wow, Chris. Chris, what is with your hate for Speedy? Is it hate? Um, or do you like him? No, nah, he, he's just actually like a, he's, a, he's a good sport, and um, not only that, but uh, he's like kind of a traitor. He's in between Foxhole and Reach right now. <laughs> 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 He's riding the fence. Yeah, he's like the Lou Dicks of. Right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Lou Dicks. Damn. All right. Well, Chris, right, we Chris. appreciate you. Do me a favor, Chris. Go in your kitchen, in the yeah. drawer, get a knife, and fall on it. <laughs> or go wow. in Claudia's car and reach down the side of the <laughs> <laughs> and grab a hold of that stone jar. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Hilarious. Thank you, Chris in Connecticut. Yes. Chris from Connecticut. Uh, uh, cool. I feel like he's always in a bathrobe when he calls. Yeah. Yeah. He's always so relaxed. Very sexy. You think he's sexy? He sounds sexy? No, he just... He, I think he, 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 he answered the question, motherfucker. Do you think he sounds sexy? I think he always tries to sound sexy. But I did, don't think he sounds how sexy. How did you feel I'm not attracted to that. <laughs> how did you feel personally? What are you attracted to? I'm attracted to a Speedy, sexy are you female wondering? voice. Are you wondering, Speedy? <laughs> With a dude body. <laughs> oh, With a man God. body. Did you leave me too alone? <laughs> she has both parts. <laughs> she loves me. <laughs> when I tell her to go fuck herself, she can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Has anybody ever uh, sold anything on eBay? Never. Never. No. no. Never. I always change my mind. Be like, <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep this. Try, yeah. to buy, try to buy something once, but I'll through. look it up and see how much people are willing to pay for it, and then I go, oh, never mind. I'll just keep my Snoop Dogg autograph. <laughs> Weed alert. <laughs> they think it's fake, probably. No, I mean, I got a like, I got like a lot of memorabilia, but I want to hold on to it. You never really want to get rid of that stuff. But anyway, a woman auctioned a three-year-old chicken McNugget Mm-mm. that resembled. George Washington. Wow. <laughs> she was it auctioning it off. really look like dude. I saw the chicken McNugget. Yes, it does look like George Washington. What? How did that happen? Three well, years. What's she keep it in? It had to smell really bad though. Because McDonald's food, like if you don't eat it within the first five minutes, it smells like <laughs> really <laughs> shitty. Right. It's it, not it it's not again. to be eaten <laughs> if you don't eat it within a certain yeah. period of time. Oh, yeah. Three years. I'm pretty sure you want to go and warm that up. Three Speedy, minutes. I bet you would buy <laughs> Expiration that date shit. seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Six fifty nine. Well, she <laughs> is <laughs> auctioning a three year old McDonald's chicken McNugget she believes resembles our nation's first president. And it looks like she's on a pace to get some cash. Reportedly, um, Mrs. Spites is selling the patriotic McNugget to help raise <laughs> money for church summer camp. I don't believe And that. so far, she has received 17 different bids and was going for 356 on eBay. $356 so far. She gave more money if she had the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I want sweet and sour. You know what they say about the McDonald's food, like how it doesn't really decompose like normal food so that's something to be said about a chicken McNugget that's not still disintegrating looks, yeah. still looks the same I know she had it in her pocket hold on let me get it out of you know what I'm <laughs> saying like think about that in your system mm. if it doesn't I right. will now yeah Rot after three See, years. See, it proves white meat does, does age well. No. <laughs> <laughs> the other white meat. <laughs> um, before the show, me and Speedy were talking about uh, a new man uh, broke the world's uh, Guinness Book of Records for being oh, the yeah. shortest man in the world at 21 inches and we, speedy we when i was telling him yeah, <laughs> when i was telling speedy the story what happened speedy well there's another little guy who was talking about this dude and he makes money for his family by being the shortest man in the world he gets a little stifled from the government right but he had said he that start- disability no wait, yeah. you mean like that's his like thing to sell himself so like yeah, that's hustle. That's carnivals hustle. And stuff like so the family that's how they make their money so he and then he started crying he's like well if the other guy win we don't make money oh, that's so awful. he just lost his little money so he's the second shortest person <laughs> buying, for for by second. five what would buy a couple of centimeters centimeters yeah like like <laughs> if he cut his hair he can go and get back in there <laughs> oh, oh so wow. it's a shoes on shoes off haircut <laughs> time <laughs> wow well so, then so the i'm new- hearing the story and i felt bad because the other oh. little dude he not the short dude no more 
Oh. Did you guys ever Google or go to YouTube and check out the midget fight on from Jerry Springer? No. There's like a dwarf versus a midget on Jerry Springer, and one of them doesn't have like Aren't elbows. Dwarfs or... and midgets the same thing. No, one's like more in proportion, and one's not. Like, right. but they both have giant heads. Right, <laughs> but one of them they don't have any like one doesn't have any joints like elbows or knees, so he gets tipped over, and for him to get back up, he has to crawl to the wall and roll himself over. <laughs> do, do, it again, do it again. <laughs> yeah, the wobble over. Horrible. So please go to YouTube and look up the midget fight on Jerry Springer. Oh my god. Like oh the best shit my ever. God. Hilarious. Well, I, I did this tell you, guy. I hit a Right? Yeah, yeah, you did say. I would expect nothing more from him. <laughs> of course, you did. Well, this guy Hit says that his stature. <laughs> she gave you a little pussy. Your dick's so big. <laughs> so your dick's so got a little head. <laughs> <laughs> gave you a little something. I was trying to cut back. <laughs> well, the little dude says his stature has been a burden. He is acutely aware of the difficulties of fitting into an average size world, and he's never, you know, been married. So he's figuring this new found fame, winning the Guinness Book. Get him some pussy. Yes. <laughs> That's what he's inches? hoping for. Yes. Wow. Well, we're taking forever to walk down the aisle. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Damn. Hey, just roll a little mother. Roll. When I was it's born, I, thought I, was, I think I was like 17 inches long. I thought I was like 20, though. I was long. I call That's a dad. giant baby. I, I, look at these baby. arms, though. You know what I mean? I, I was long. Wow. Long. Yeah. But he's like a, as big as a baby, kind of. Right. He's <laughs> a giant baby. <laughs> <laughs> Get in my belly. Uh, imagine talking to you. What would you do if you had a midget? All these years you waited and you got a little dude. You mean had sex with one or no. gave birth no, I had to one? Baby. Nowadays, I can tell you if your baby's I mean, going to be a midget before. Oh yeah, yeah, that baby's going camping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, little baby, let's go on this roller coaster ride. <laughs> you don't quite fit in the seat. <laughs> oh, shit. I lost my baby. Oh, you are wrong, Claudia. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I would love it like it was a normal size. He yeah. makes a Shetland pony look like a normal horse. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably have a fun with it. Like, have a good sense of humor about it, you, you know? kick him around. Put him on the road. I think I'd sneak him into a store so he could steal shit for me. <laughs> <laughs> jump, jump back in my bag. Yeah. No. Think about it. You could probably find some interesting things to do with that. Yeah, rent them out. <laughs> rent them out. We have for parties and stuff. The littlest diamond thief ever. <laughs> oh, my God. Model for dolls. You know what I mean? Let me jump back in his bag. <laughs> yeah, go on there and model for that trophy. One more item before we go to break. Hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all better DMX. have no kids. Break his little heart. <laughs> Piss him off. Y'all are so wrong. I think he's a little mad. <laughs> <laughs> he's a ch- yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm only going halfway. <laughs> <laughs> little chip off the old block. <laughs> Oh Sorry. my goodness. Y'all are so, are y'all done? so No, wrong. I was going to do Sweetie. one more before we got a break. Hey, go ahead. Um, D- DMX, <laughs> <laughs> DMX is being accused of owing more than $1 million in back child support. Ooh, oh, wow. No passport for you. No. Speedy? No, I owe $1 million. <laughs> $1 million bucks. That's million only bucks. because they don't know how to file. <laughs> I, don't, oh, I think you probably no, do owe some no, money. I don't. Mm. Yeah, well, he owes one million, and he found out when he was trying to apply for yeah. a passport to do. Nigga, uh, they say, "Come with us." <laughs> <laughs> no, they just tell you get away from the window. Oh, well, wow. he says that he wants a DNA test because he doesn't believe that the child is actually his. A mi- that's a lot of kids. A million dollars is a lot of kids. Wait, how many kids? This is, is on one kid, I think. Yeah, even mm. if, even if I think once they turn eighteen, it's only going to be maybe hundred hundred thousand. No, at the, the most. No, it depends on your income. Yeah, oh, it does. Yeah, well, it is right. based yeah, on based income. Income. It's based, based on my two dollar income. <laughs> yeah, they owe you money. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of DMX adult support money went to legal fees because him being in and out of Amazing. jail a lot. Because yeah, because Pac said that like back in the day when he was having all his legal issues that those lawyers was eating up the oh, money. Yeah. It's fifty thousand a pop just for them to even get the case. Some lawyers are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. Wow! You know? And then Chris Brown hour. just hired uh, Mark. Garagos, is that Mark how you Garagos, say? yeah. Uh, because he allegedly... Garagos is money. <laughs> <laughs> he defended Michael Jackson, too. That's the same lawyer, Garagos right? Is money. Did you guys hear that they're trying to put uh, child support, like they're trying to make it go electric, like, um, uh, like on like a Like an EBT card? card? Yes. To be able to track you down and like get like garnish your wages. I have to look up the story for, for next week, but there's oh, something wow. about that. They're trying mm-hmm. to like uh, get child support that way. 
Wow. Speedy. Yeah, that was that was what the OJ case was about. It was about getting all the paperwork and stuff ready for child support. That's what that whole case was about. Wow. 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 Well, you're listening to Reach Around Radio on LATalkLive.com. Coming kids. up, we have a special guest in the house. Don't go anywhere. Prove we'll be it. right back. <laughs> 